Hey everyone, a question we get all the time from job seekers and cloud enthusiasts are, which cloud platform should I focus on learning? With so many choices out there, AWS, Azure, Google Cloud and Oracle Cloud, it can be overwhelming to decide where to invest your time and effort. Each of these platforms has its own strengths, use cases and growing ecosystems, so there's no one-size-fits-all answer. And that's why in this video, we'll break down the key differences between these four major cloud providers, covering market share, services, certifications and more, so you can decide which cloud platform fits your goals best. But before we dive in, I would like to invite you to our absolutely free masterclass on how to land a high-paying job using a proven three-step framework in AWS Cloud. We have helped more than 45,000 learners like Kolu, Kenneth and many more to land their dream jobs with really handsome salary. So definitely don't miss out this free opportunity. You can register through the link given in the description below. So let's start with the big picture. Who is leading the cloud market? According to the latest Synergy Research report, the global cloud infrastructure market share breaks down like this. AWS leads with roughly 33% market share, holding a strong lead due to its early entry and broad global presence. Microsoft Azure is second, capturing around 24% of the market, growing rapidly thanks to its hybrid cloud capabilities and Microsoft Enterprise dominance. Google Cloud Platform or GCP holds about 11%, steadily growing by focusing on data analytics and AI workloads. And Oracle Cloud Infrastructure currently has around 2-3% but it's growing, especially in enterprise sectors that use Oracle software. Now, in terms of job postings on LinkedIn and Indeed, there are over 1,60,000 AWS-related job openings worldwide. Azure-related roles number around 60,000. GCP jobs are near 25,000 mostly in data engineering and AI roles. And Oracle Cloud has about 8,000 openings mostly specialized in enterprise database roles. So AWS and Azure dominate both market share and job availability, but GCP and Oracle have growing niches worth watching. Now, what really sets these platforms apart? Let's look at their core services and strengths based on industry analysis. So AWS is known for having the most extensive and mature cloud service portfolio, over 200 fully featured services. It covers everything from computing, storage, serverless, managed databases, to specialized AI and machine learning services. AWS also boosts the largest global infrastructure footprint with 30 plus availability zones worldwide. This breadth makes AWS ideal for startups and large enterprises alike. Now, Azure stands out for enterprise integration. It seamlessly connects with Microsoft software stack, Windows Server, Active Directory, Office 365, Dynamics 365. Azure also excels in hybrid cloud deployments via Azure Arc and Azure Stack, letting organizations bridge on-premise and cloud resources smoothly. It's very popular in regulated industries like government and healthcare. Azure's AI and IoT services are also rapidly advancing. Now, Google Cloud is praised for its data analytics and AI capabilities. BigQuery is considered one of the fastest, most scalable cloud data warehouses. Google also leads in container orchestration with Kubernetes and offers Vertex AI for streamlined machine learning. GCP's platform is especially favored for tech-forward companies focusing on innovation and AI workloads. And Oracle Cloud shines in database performance and enterprise workloads. Its autonomous database automates tuning and patching, increasing efficiency and security. Oracle Cloud is the top choice for organizations heavily invested in Oracle's ERP and database software, particularly in finance, retail, and healthcare sectors. So now that you've got a clear picture of the market overview and the core services of each one of them, let's move on to their learning curve and certification paths. Let's be honest, cloud learning isn't always easy, but certifications help structure your journey and boost credibility. AWS certifications are the industry standard with the Solutions Architect Associate being the most popular entry-level certification. AWS offers comprehensive training via AWS Skill Builder and maintains strong community support. Expect to learn a broad range of topics, so prepare for a steep but rewarding learning curve. Now, Azure certifications start with the AZ-900 Fundamentals, which is very accessible for beginners. Microsoft's Microsoft Learn platform provides interactive modules that are easy to digest. Role-based certifications like Azure Administrator and Solutions Architect follow, aligning well with job roles in enterprises. Now, Google Cloud certifications focus on practical skills. 
The Associate Cloud Engineer certification emphasizes hands-on labs through Google Cloud Skills Boost, helping you gain real-world experience. And GCP is often recommended for those with interest in data science or DevOps. And finally, Oracle Cloud certifications like the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Architect Associate are most specialized but increasingly respected for database and enterprise cloud roles. Oracle University offers focused training paths, especially valuable if you plan to work in Oracle heavy organizations. Getting certified can increase your salary potential and improve your chances in competitive job markets. Also, you can check out this video tagged here where we have explained in detail about AWS learning paths and certifications. So now let's see where are these clouds making the biggest impact. AWS is the backbone for companies like Netflix, Airbnb and NASA, spanning industries from media to tech to government. Its flexibility suits startups and large-scale operations. Azure is widely adapted by enterprises, government agencies and healthcare providers. Companies like Coca-Cola, BMW and the US Department of Defense rely on Azure, especially for hybrid and regulated environments. Now, Google Cloud is a favorite for data-driven companies such as Spotify, Snap and Twitter known for its advanced AI and big data analytics. And Oracle Cloud remains the leader for organizations that run critical Oracle databases like banks, retailers and healthcare providers trust Oracle Cloud for high performance and security. So understanding where you want to work and what industry you want to serve can help you narrow down your cloud choice. So now let's move into the career opportunities and salary potentials of each one of them. According to data from LinkedIn, Glassdoor and Payscale, AWS Cloud Architects and Engineers earn an average salary between $110,000 to $150,000 annually, often higher in tech hubs like Seattle or San Francisco. Azure professionals command similar pay, especially in enterprise and hybrid cloud roles, with average salaries around $105,000 to $140,000. Google Cloud specialists in AI, data engineering, and DevOps earn competitive salaries, typically ranging from $100,000 to $145,000. And Oracle Cloud experts tend to earn premium pay in niche enterprise roles, often between $100,000 to $160,000 due to specialized skills. So employers are increasingly valuing multi-cloud experience, but mastering one platform thoroughly is key to starting your cloud career. Now, how to choose one based on your goals, and how do you pick one? Here's a simple guide. If you want the most job opportunities and largest ecosystem, start with AWS. If you're working with Microsoft Tech or aiming for enterprise or government jobs, Azure is the way to go. Now, if you're interested in AI, big data or container orchestration, Google Cloud will excite you. Now, if you want to specialize in enterprise databases and finance, give Oracle Cloud serious consideration. Also, consider the job market where you live and which companies you want to work for that often makes the biggest difference. My advice would be pick one platform that aligns with your interests and goals and dive deep. Build projects, get certified and gain real hands-on experience. So which platform are you thinking about? Drop a comment below. We would love to hear your thoughts and help you get started. Also, don't forget about the free masterclass we mentioned earlier. If you're serious about landing a high paying job, even as a beginner, we are sharing a pro and three-step framework that works. So be sure to register for the class using the link in the description below. And if you found this video valuable, please do subscribe and share it with your fellow mates. Also watch this video next.